Welcome back to Live at 9. Bean Path has been so good to us as well. And, you know, you guys are doing this thing called a python class, which I got, got me scared. I'm like, am I going to the zoo? Don't be scared. <laughs> no. But it's a coding class. Yeah. Right. So tell us about what you guys are doing. All right. Well, the Bean Path is a nonprofit, and our goal is to serve the underserved communities. We want to bridge that digital gap. And so with that, we are offering a free coding class, and this is so exciting. Tell us about what's Python coding. So Python is a programming language. It's very similar to like English syntax. Okay. Um, and it, it's very easy to learn, but you can also do a lot of things with it from data analytics to AI to process automation. So it's a very robust and very versatile tool. How did you guys decide on this one? We decided because coding is becoming more and more important, and this is a great tool to, um, if you want to upskill in your job level, if you're a student, you want to try to learn and get into coding, this is a great way to be I I introduced and, you know, get a good start on your coding path. So yeah. that's why we went with coding. Yeah, you see, you see it everywhere now, and, and I mean, it's coding has become like a thing that I know, I remember I was learning computer science, you know, it was kind of starting to come into its thing when I was in high school, mm -hmm. and it's like, okay, now like every school trying to get their kids to do this. Yes. Before I let you step off before we do this, uh -huh. tell us when this class is, and where they can find information, and it's beginner friendly, right? Yes. So I encourage everybody to sign up on our website. Click on the, Oct the August 13th date. We're going to start at 6 p.m. on the 13th. Um, come one, come all, ages 8 years old and up. And we're looking forward to seeing everybody. All right. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank I'm going to step over to the side just for a moment here. All right. Here we go. So I'm looking at a screen right here. What are we even looking at? So this is a coding environment that I... I don't know if we can zoom in a little bit because I know it's a little dark on the screen, but uh, go ahead. So this is kind of a coding environment, a uh, bit real basic Python. So a, a computer program in its sense is just a set of instructions we give the computer to do something. So we're just going to give this a quick set of instructions. So we're going to get it to say print and then put it in parentheses and sit, uh, double quotes. And we're going to say thanks for watching WJTV. Okay, before you click anything. Yeah. So why put the print there? Just kind of like basic uh, teaching moment so, right now. So print is the uh, initial thing. You're telling the computer what, what to do. Okay. And then we're going to say what we want to have it do. So we want to say print and then have it output. Thanks for watching WJTV. Yep. Thanks for watching. All right, so this seems simple. Okay, and then what happens? Then we just hit the play button, run the program, and boom, first program done. It output the data right there. Okay, that seems really simple, yep. but why is it so complicated in the, I guess, broader sense? So you, you, you get down to variables and different types of variables um, and different classes that do different things. So we, Python, you can analyze video, pictures, um, all kinds of different stuff with it as well. Is there anything more we can do right here, or is this all that you've got a set up for? This is all I have a set up for. <laughs> okay. we, can, we can do more if you want to. We can, we, I mean, do we have time? We got about two minutes. Yeah, so let's... Uh, Let's actually, do you want to do like a quick calculator? You think that'd sure, be cool? let's do a calculator. So we'll do input and then put in number one and then we'll save it into a variable. Before I have you do this, yes. what's the benefit of knowing this? So um, it's, it's, uh, it's a great career booster. Career booster, career. okay. Yeah. And um, most Fortune 500 companies use Python in some shape or form. Interesting. So whether web development, AI, data analytics, so there's a lot of different functionalities that you can do with Python. So I'm a student, high school, college, this is something worth knowing. Oh yeah, Right? Sure. I mean, I know uh, knowing another language is something that's really big that companies love. This would also be, in, another, in a roundabout way, another language you can know that would help you in your career. Yep, 100%. All right, where are we going here? So we, we're going to save this into a variable, call it num1. And then we're going to say num2. Whoa, OK, we're going fast now. All right. <laughs> input. So it's, it's the same. We're going to get number one plus number two. OK. And then put in number one or number two. I forgot my double quotes. And then we're going to print. OK, you got about 20 seconds. I'm going. Num1 plus num2. So we're going to output it like that. 
and then we're going to run it. So it's going to ask up here for number one, we'll do one, and put number two up here, do okay. two, one plus two. It's a string, but it's a 12. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so yeah. much for joining us. Yeah, thank Go you. Go check out their Python class. This is really cool. Again, starts August 13th. We'll be right back.